Thank you for joining us for powerful prayers as we pray with Scripture. If you are needing prayer at this time, please go ahead and leave a request in the comments below and let us join with you as your brothers and sisters in prayer. The verses we'll be praying through in this video are Psalm chapter 5 verses 1 to 3. These are great verses to pray in the morning. It is a cry to God asking Him to hear our words, our groanings, and to give our attention to our cries. It also reminds us of who God is and who we are in relation to Him. Verse 3 ends with a reminder that what we do should be a sacrifice to God, and He'll take care of the rest. We only need to watch and leave the results to Him. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 24 reminds us that He loves us and never ceases to love us. Along with His love, He continues to pour out His mercies on us. He is always faithful. Verse 24 proclaims that the Lord is our portion. God knows a lot more about what we need than we do. Sometimes He doesn't take the pain away but instead he comforts us through it. How we handle difficulties can encourage others and draw his children closer to him. Your journey can become just the inspiration someone else needs and is God's will for you to build up his kingdom. Therefore, we hope in him. Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 to 34. It concludes the talk that Jesus gave about being anxious of what we eat, drink, and wear. God feeds the birds, and he clothes the lilies. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and he will provide these things for you. We'll read through the three scriptures together and then begin our prayer. The video will also have some prompts for you, so that during those pauses you can add in your own words in prayer as well. Psalm chapter 5, verses 1 to 3. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 to 34. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Heavenly Father, give ear to my words and consider my groaning. Consider my deepest pains, despairs, hurts, and desires. Hear also my cries. This morning I come before you with these concerns. Take the next few moments to share with God all your concerns. You are my King and my God, and I know you are and have the ultimate authority in my life. You created me, and you know what is best for me. I desire to follow you, my Lord. This morning I know you hear my voice, and I want to start my day laying down all things at your feet. Teach me, Lord, what you want. I trust in you. I trust in you because you first loved me and saved me through Jesus, 
even while I was still in sin. I trust you because when I confess my sins, you forgive them. I trust you because even as I strive to become more like Jesus, yet fail from time to time, you continue to forgive and even hold me in your hands as you see me as righteous through Jesus. Your steadfast love never ceases, never ceases, O Lord, and your mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Thank you, Lord, for giving me life and breath today. Take the next few moments to give thanks to God. Thank you for this new day that I can put yesterday behind me. Thank you that as I look ahead today, you are with me. Great is your faithfulness. You know more about what I need than I do. Would you take the pain away? Would you provide me with what I need? Would you answer my prayers? And if not just yet, May I remain comforted through it all and be sustained by your strength, remembering that you are my portion. You know more about me than I do. May my journey become the inspiration others may need. Help me to make you my portion, just like Hannah in 1 Samuel. You are enough for me because my hope is in you. Jesus, you tell me that if I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that all these things, the worries and anxieties I have, will be taken care of. I trust you, and I lay them at your feet. Help me to continue to seek you throughout today. No matter what happens, I trust in your mercies, because as I seek you, I know you are molding me and preparing me to become more like you. Grant me the focus for today and not worry for tomorrow, because today is what you have given me. I love you, Lord, and now I get to watch you pour your mercies on me today as I walk with you. And should things get tough later today, remind me of the sweet time this morning that you are and always will be my portion. In Jesus' name, amen. May this prayer be one that you pray regularly and provides you with peaceful anticipation for the day. Remembering that God hears you, he loves you, and has mercies for you every day. He is your portion for all times. We need not to worry about tomorrow, but to seek Jesus today with the time that we have. There is also another prayer you can pray following this video as a reminder that God is molding us for his plans. You can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to be notified of new prayer videos uploaded to the channel. And of course, share this video with someone else who could use this prayer as well. Let us continue with reading the verses one more time so that they can be stored in your heart and never forgotten. These verses are meant for you today. As God promised, his word never returns empty. May these verses be the difference maker for you today. Would you read out loud with me? Psalm chapter 5 verses 1 to 3. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. 
Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Matthew chapter 6 verses 33 to 34. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, and have a blessed day.